Welcome cottage friends. This is a progress report on my craft room that I'm creating from a spare room in my home. And you may remember that in my last video I introduced the room and the furniture that I had so far and gave you some ideas of what I wanted to do. And I've been working on that and now I want to show you how far I've come. So the first thing is the table. If you remember, it had kind of a natural wood top, kind of a butcher block. And I was going to dark stain it, and then I decided I really wanted something lighter because the room is small and it tends to get dark in here in the afternoon. As you can see, it's, it's about 1 2 o'clock here. So I painted, I was going to whitewash the top, but that didn't really turn out very well. I didn't like it. So I decided to paint it white and then I did a, a granny sack stripes on the top. And I did that because I've never done grain stripes before. I've always wanted to and I thought this would be a great place to experiment with that. So I did complete that. I want to do a little bit of distressing on it. And I also have ordered a stencil that I'm going to use between the stripes. So I think that will look really great. Now I'll surprise you with that. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm going to surprise you. So that's the table. And then the chair, I finished the chair. I love it. I just think it turned out so great. It's just what I imagined. I love the way the flowers pop. I knew they would once the chair was painted. And I distressed Here's a close-up of the flowers after I distress them. I just think it looks so great. It's just got that distressed look, just enough distressing, not a lot, but mostly on the flowers and then just some um, hard edges on the, on the chair. So that's, that's the chair. And you can notice the fabric that I chose. I, it looks blue on my screen. I don't know if it looks blue to you or not. It's actually got a lot of green in it, but it does have this darker blue, which I think is going to complement the table sack green really well. So that's the chair and the table. And then the file cabinet, which I'm really happy with. I think it turned out just beautiful. And I got some shabby chic doorknobs or drawer knobs for that at Hobby Lobby. They were 50% off, so they were $2 each. So that's $8 for the hardware, and then the file cabinet, as I mentioned before, was $14.99. So that's a pretty good deal, I think, for such a sweet cabinet, uh, file cabinet. So I love the details on this. So those are the three pieces that I had shown you uh, in my last video, and now I want to tell you a little bit more of what I'm going to do, and that is... I decided I needed some kind of shelf unit, something to put craft supplies on, and I was trying to decide what to do, and I remembered that I had three shoe uh, um, holders, I don't know what, what to call them, um, I know there's a word, I'm, it's escaping me right now, but anyway, they were um, using the closets here in the house by the previous owners to store their shoes and there's three pieces and I just stack them. I have painted them green, which is kind of interesting because they're about the green in the fabric. And I stacked them and then I went to Dollar Tree and picked out this just plastic container see-through that I thought might work in there and sure enough it does fit in there quite nicely. So that's what I'm going to use for storage, and I can see my supplies and things that I keep there. I'll probably paint the outside of the cabinet white and leave the inside green. So that that's where I'm at so far, and I'm pretty excited about the progress I've made. And yeah, so we'll see how the rest of it goes. Thanks for watching.